Good evening and good morning to all of you. Let us now begin with our prayer warrior. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we would like to praise and thank you for this time that you have gathered again your children to continually ask for more strength and for, for more change into our life, Heavenly Father. We'd like to continually ask for the double portion of the Holy Spirit to be upon us, O Lord, and May it be that this prayer will continually be a sweet incense in the throne of grace and mercy. At this time, Heavenly Father, we would like to continually ask for your leadings, your guidance, and your protections and blessings with the country of Ukraine, who is indeed in the verge of war against the country of uh, Russia. Lord, continually to lead and, and I bless those leader, those leading, leading these two countries, O oh Lord, continually to unite them and uh, help them, O oh Lord, to do what is all, always right in their sight, Heavenly Father. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for your divine blessings for the country of Ukraine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father in heaven, who loves his children, we keep Ukraine and Russia in our prayers. Our hearts break every time we hear or see that many people have died or been injured. Please, Lord, help them, shield and protect them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Truly, dear Father, we may not be uh, experiencing what they are experiencing, our brothers and sisters from Ukraine as well as from Russia. And we can only ask for your help and so for this week, we are seeking for your protection, for your love, especially for your peace among the, these people. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen. Richard Sambali Fender, we would like also to bring into thee the prayer petition of Sister Karen Michael. And she is asking, oh Lord, for a complete healing for her aunt who is just had her hip surgery. We would like to continually ask for your divine healing. May the almighty hands will heal her and, and revive her, O oh Lord God, or continually to empower her as she will have the healing process, O oh Lord, in the hospital. We would like also, Lord, to continually ask for your leading as well with the daughter uh, of Sister Karen, the name of Chanel, that she will have a closer walk unto thee and she will continually to walk and follow the footsteps of Lord God. Thank you, dear Father, for your love and healing and divine leadings and to Sister Karen and to her sister and to her daughter, Shannon. Heavenly Father, we will lift up to you the prayer of San Sart Setseg for Akshay Dabik Turns, Father, for today on Monday. Lord, you are a great doctor. Please help him prepare for his upcoming surgery. May you also, Lord, please lead the doctors who will assist him in the operating room. Help him, Lord. Please let let him feel that he is not al alone in his battle. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer request for from uh, Sister Hannah. She has a, a request for her daughter, Deborah, who has tested positive for COVID. And uh, they are from England, Father. Even though vaccines are already administered to most of the people, Yet, uh, there are still people who are getting infected. And so, Father, with a special prayer for Deborah, may you be with her and may the medications as well as the food that she's taking restore her health and her strength and that any effects of this virus leave her body. Thank you, Father, for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, O oh Lord, we would like to bring unto thee uh, Oje 
Hatang uh, Uriel prayer request on Lord for her sister Nelly Yani Uyaga. O Uyaja, O Lord, and she is a struggles. Uh, she is a struggling to breathe, O Lord God. So may thou touch her and heal her, O Lord, in due season in your uh, great time, O Lord God, that you may continually use the life of Sister Nelly, or uh, she may continually use her life for this full service unto thee, O Lord God, and she can continually inspire more people and bring more souls unto thee. Thank you, Lord, for your divine healing with the sister of OG. Heavenly Father, our most precious loving God, we bring to you the prayer of Messiah in Pupi for uh, her family, especially in her daughter, who is in police custody since, since this morning. Lord, we don't know exactly what is happening, but we are certain that you are there with her. Please, Lord, guide her, be with her, and help her, Lord, in his current situation right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is a Thanksgiving prayer from Sister Jennifer Mauro. Uh, her sister is drug-free for already 29 years, but she is also praying that her sister get back to you and serve you and recognize you as her Lord and Savior. The sister of uh, Jennifer might uh, be leaning towards other works or she might be um, um, experiencing uh, things that keeps her away from you, Father. And so with humble hearts, we are asking that the power of the Holy Spirit may manifest in, their, in her heart and she may listen to the sweet small voice of yours so that she can go back. Use people, dear Father. Use um, different kinds of social media platforms just like our social media platform that can help her pray also to give back, to give back glory and to re, uh, regain her spiritual strength in you. Thank you, Father, for listening. This is our prayer. Father God, we would like to bring unto thee the prayer request of Sister Sabrina. She is asking, O oh Lord God, to for your leadings, your divine interventions with her daughter, who is 21 years old, in the name of Sister Samantha, that she will continually find the way back unto thee and accept your beloved son Jesus as her personal Savior, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your love and your leadings with Sister Sabrina and with her daughter Samantha. Praise be unto thee, O Lord God. Lord Jesus, our powerful God, merciful God, God, we lift up to you again the prayer request of Sister Jennifer. She has been praying for her life, future partner in life. Lord, lead her to a noble man who will lead her closer to you. A man who will join hands together to worship you. Lord Jesus, please give Jennifer a uh, give her patience, Lord, to wait for a right future partner for her in Jesus. Our sister Nancy McGreen is asking fervently for your healing hands, dear father, because his son has been found to have cancer. This kind of disease has killed many people and yet also this disease has been won by many as well. And so father, 
without your power, this cancer will not leave her son's body, but we firmly believe that you will be using his doctors and his family as well as the power of um, the food that he will take, the environment that he will be living in, and through your grace, dear, dear, dear Lord, this son of Sister Nancy will win the battle against cancer. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Lord God, this is a prayer request also for Sister Azinta St. Clair, and she is uh, claiming and asking or continually asking for your divine healing and prayer. May thou continually touch her with your mighty and powerful hands, O Lord God, that in Jesus' son again, in your perfect time, she will get, be get hold and be of use in your ministry, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the life and your total healing for Sister Saint, Jacinta St. Clair. Thank you, dear Father. Almighty God, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, we bring to you the prayer of Tonji Ulaufe for, uh, for us. Lord, we will ask the double portion of the Holy Spirit to be upon us, to guide us, so that we may be able to stay stand firm in this faith in accordance to thy will. Amidst the trials, chaos, turmoil, turmoils that is happening around the world. Please be with us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are praying for spiritual strength among others. For these brothers and sisters of ours, namely Sister Janice Evans, Sister Thelma Nichols, Sister Carrie Clay, Brother Tunji Olaufe and Sister Gina Mabika. Again, dear Father, challenges, trials, warfares are happening all around us. And these brothers and sisters of ours are not spared from them. And we are recognizing that the enemy is really working double hard and double time to shake their spiritual strength. And so, Father, on their behalf, we are lifting them unto you. Please let the Holy Spirit be with them always and let the Holy Spirit strengthen their faith. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, we would like to humbly ask for your total blessings with the prayer request of Faith, Oguang, Christopher, Brother Christopher, Nanebju, or Nanenu, Nahenu, O Lord, uh, Sister Irma, and uh, Sister Keziah, O Lord, that they are asking for your financial blessings unto them, that they may continually use your blessings rightfully, O oh Lord God, in serving thee and uh, as well as in supporting their financial needs, especially with their families, their studies, their business, and all the others, O oh Lord God, may they continually bless them, as well as the works of their hands, that, uh, in, that they, can, they can continually also return what is always due unto me, Heavenly Father. So Lord, we would like to claim and thank your total blessings unto these children of yours who are asking, Lord God, for your total blessings unto them and to their families as well. Thank you, Lord God, for your divine providences and your interventions with your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, we will pray for Char Char. Please, Lord, he is praying for, she is praying for her sister Vanessa to come to God with her entire family. Lord, we don't have the capacity to renew our life. It is only the Holy Spirit who will convict us, Lord, 
to renew our lives and surrender ourselves unto thee. Also, Lord, we will pray for Sister Stephanie. Uh, please lead her, Lord, to a good paying job so that she may be able to provide and help uh, her family circle. And uh, we will. We would also like, Lord, to lift up the prayer of uh, Char Char for his IELTS exam that she will get a perfect score of band nine. If it is your will, Lord, please give him the wisdom and understanding so that she may be able to write the correct answers and uh, get the score that she desires. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have your dear father, a sister in the war room, Sister Sabrina, and uh, she is uh, asking to, for us to pray for her daughter, Samantha. Again, dear father, this is a very young lady that needs your protection that needs the power of the Holy Spirit to bring her back and get her active again to serve you. Be with her, Samantha, and uh, may you use different kinds of means in order for this youth of our, ours to get back to your feet and worship you together with her family, together with her mother. And uh, to finally, while we are waiting for you, to finally serve you with all her heart because you will be the one to answer whatever it is that she wants to know. And most of all, dear father, the peace and the love and the understanding that all comes to you. Dear father, we thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God in heaven, our great physician, who can heal both of our physical and spiritual maladies, dear Lord, we would like to continually ask and bring unto thee a help prayer petition of our dear brothers and sisters, Shok Kumar, Viola, Abiola. Mayomo, Sister Nicola Williams, Sister Stella Mayota, and Brother Pili Joshua, they are asking, oh Lord, and humbly asking for your healing and for a total health, oh Lord God, with them and as well as with their families, oh Lord. May thou continually bless them, empower them, oh Lord God, with the double version of the Holy Spirit, and above all, Heal them, O oh Lord, from all of their physical and spiritual maladies. Help them to continually submit all of their lives in the service of yours, O oh Lord God, for thy glory alone. For you have said it in the Romans 12, 1 and 2. Help them to present their bodies as a living sacrifice for your glory. Thank you, dear Father, for your healing and for the gift of health and life unto your children. In Jesus' blessed name. Amen. Heavenly Father, will we bring to you the prayer of Nancy A. White for her family circle that they will surrender their lives total to Jesus. Lord, please hear Nancy's pleadings to you. Bind their family with love and unity. Please continue to guide them in their spiritual lives so that they may be able to surrender themselves into your throne of grace and worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The family of Miziel R. Saboya is currently undergoing some challenges regarding the settlement for their house or for their home, and they are in debt. Father, these are kinds of challenges that you 
among others, and you, ultimately you, will be the one to be able to solve. Please help this family, Father. Um, give them wisdom. Give them the power. And give them the, give them the strength to overcome these kinds of financial difficulty in their lives. We know, Father, that without you, we cannot do anything as well as this family. But with you on their side, nothing can go wrong. Please let them humble themselves. Let them open their eyes and let the blessings come to them through your grace. Because we know, Father, that as they are feeling these debts, as they are feeling hardships, maybe their hearts are heavy. But please lift, lift, lift them up, Father. Be their peace. And eventually, they will be free from whatever financial crisis they are in. And as we close this prayer session for today, we thank you, Father, for giving us the chance not only to be blessed by this prayer request, but also to be a blessing to one another. Please bless, Father, all the families that are here in the war room, especially our friends. Uh, who have joined us. And uh, we know, Father, that this is your plan. We haven't planned this, and this is your plan. And we know that tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow will be a day where we will be celebrating and praying for others with you and with our brothers and sisters. And so, Father, as we temporarily depart from this war room where we deal with the war through prayers, we have you, we have you among us, and we thank you, Father, for being there always for each and every one of us. Thank you, thank you, dear Father, for this special moment, and this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>